Now, there have been armed confrontations in the occupied West Bank as the Israeli army raids two refugee camps. They've been targeting Tokharam and Nurshams for more than 24 hours. The residents have reported dozens of arrests. Palestinians there say they've been beaten and their homes have been damaged. At midnight, the army entered. Like crazy people, broke the door and took us. They beat us everywhere. Then they put us in a car on top of each other. They interrogated us. They beat me on my shoulders. I can't move my hand and there are bruises on my back. There are young men. They were beaten a lot. There are bruises on their feet and some of them fell on the ground and the soldiers hit them as well. Kondas Khalouts joining us now from occupied East Jerusalem. Tell us more about what's going on, Hamda. We're following several raids across the occupied West Bank earlier in the night and into the early morning hours. We saw raids in Ramallah, Hebron, Bethlehem and Qalqilia, but there are two that are still ongoing. We're talking about Tul Karim, the Nur Shams refugee camp to be exact, and Tubas. So let's begin in Tubas where there are still armed confrontations between Palestinian fighters and Israeli occupation forces. Locals are saying that one Palestinian has died in those firefights. Let's shift now to Tulkarim to Nur Shams, where this raid is now in its 27th hour. Locals are reporting dozens of arrests, describing the scene as a massive number of Palestinians who have been detained. Israeli military vehicles were seen entering the refugee camp for the last two days now, tearing up the streets and destroying infrastructure that has been leading up to the refugee camp. Snipers additionally have been deployed on rooftops as fierce clashes are still ongoing in the refugee camp. All of this comes as the Israelis have upped their near nightly raids across the occupied West Bank in an effort to crack down on armed Palestinian resistance. We're looking at at least 325 Palestinians who've been killed in the occupied West Bank alone since October 7th and near nearly 5,000 arrests, but not to mention around 3,800 other injuries. And there are also reports this evening of the Israeli military blocking the ambulances from reaching wounded Palestinians, that according to the Red Crescent. But we're not only seeing this in the occupied West Bank. There are also raids in occupied East Jerusalem in several different neighborhoods like Isawiya and Jebel Mukabir. And additionally, in Gaza, we're seeing continued Israeli air raids just west of Khan Yunus, 14 Palestinians killed in the early morning hours as the relentless bombardment on the Palestinian territory continues. Hamda, thank you very much indeed. Hamna Salutes talking to us from occupied East Jerusalem.